Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, you'll see an unboxing and build of some great models from Anvil Industry. This time, it's the Biohazard Containment Team and the Hazmat Operatives. A massive thank you to Anvil Industry for sponsoring the channel this month and sending out another great package. This time, it's the Biohazard Containment Team and the Hazmat Operatives. The Biohazard Containment Team are new models, so really exciting to get hold of these. And so in this video, I'll show you exactly what they look like on the sprues, and then we'll get them built up as well. So here we go. This is what it looks like when it arrives. You always get some nice postcards in here. And on the back, you can see their website, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. are linked to those in the description down below if you'd like to go and check it out. I can highly recommend doing that. It's an awesome website with loads to look at. But here we go, here's all the good stuff. So let's get rid of these what's-its and we'll have a look at the sprues and everything included in today's parcel. I'm really excited to get these built because they're gonna be perfect for the Astra Militarum, this biohazard containment team especially, but also for my new zombie game, I'll be using the hazmat operatives in that. And so the hazmat operatives were models that have already been available. So it'd be good to see a nice comparison here in the video. So there we go. That's all the contents of the box. Let's have a look at them individually. And we'll start with the biohazard containment team. So these models are really militaristic, gonna look awesome. I think in the Astra Militarum, you could certainly use them as proxies for veterans, that kind of thing, because they come with shotguns. So I think that's really nice. But the great thing about them all is you get the different legs, the different torsos, arms and heads, and you can piece them together however you like. And we've got the bases here, that's optional. You can choose not to have the bases and you can even just buy the torsos. That's one great thing about their website. But here's all the components we need to put together our containment team. Here are the legs, let's start with those. So these are the five poses standing up and they're all different, so that's really nice. Each model is gonna have its own unique pose, which I think is really important, but some great textures here. They do a great job sculpting these and um, yeah, they just look awesome. All the different folds in the material. You've got the vents on the back as it's a hazmat kind of team, the containment team, so that works really nicely. You've got the armor on the chest plates, which I think is really well done. And then on the back, you've also got those tanks too. So superb details. Then the arms, they match nicely, obviously, with all the materials and the folds. And the hands are perfect. Really, really well done. Then the gas masks, these are your more modern military style, so you could leave these as a kind of team that goes in and takes out the enemy in hazardous situations and toxic environments. And here we get another one. This is kneeling down now, so this will be your sixth operative. Next, we've got the minigun. This is optional, but when I see minigun, there's no option. I'm going for it. I'm putting it on my models, and this looks fantastic. So, yeah, this is a great addition to it. And the backpack's a little bit different, so it fits onto the one with the smooth back. Then you've got the shotguns, and this is why I think they'd make nice veterans for Astra Militarum. And these are really nice weapons. They've got the barrels drilled out already, which is a nice touch. Or you could go for these other rifles, which are superb, love them. And the magazines especially, but really, really good details. Again, barrels all drilled out. The squad needs a sergeant, so here's the biohazard suit sergeant that you can buy separately. And everything you need is going to come in this little pack. It's got the base if you want that too. And this is really cool how they put this together. I haven't seen this on a model before. He's actually holding a pistol and a torch. So as he's going around searching the room and he's got his rifle slung on his chest there as well. So I love this model. I think this is going to be brilliant for playing some different zombie games. But again, great for Astra Militarum too. Now let's look at the hazmat operatives. I've just sped it up here as I get them out of the packet. But these are the ones that existed before. We're going to get a nice set of five. You can still get these. And there's a great price at the moment on their website if you want to take a look. And these are going to have different helmets. And these are your more kind of typical hazmat suits, I guess, which would fit in really nicely with the zombies. But the weapons and accessories in here are phenomenal. I think they're some of my favourite accessories I've seen for a while. Here's the five different poses. Again, you've got five separate ones, so they're going to be unique, which I think is really important. They've got pouches on them instead of that armour, and you can see these are a little bit bulkier too. On the back, you've got the tanks, and one's got a double tank, which will work out nicely for the flamethrower that we'll see later on. 
And here are the hazmat heads. Again, more typical of those kind of outbreak style helmets you would see on the movies and things like that. So these are going to fit in really nicely. And comparing them more to those military ones, you can see there's a slight difference. Now we've got the hazmat arms. They've got thicker gloves around the wrists there. So a little bit different going on there. And then we've got our shotguns. These are pump action ones, which look brilliant. Really nice detail and a flamer with extra backpack too. And they're drilled in the barrels as well, which is a really nice touch. This is my favourite sprue, the Hazard Environment Equipment. You've got a crowbar, and if you want to take one of these and add them to some other bits from the regiment line, you could make James Reese from the terminal list and have that axe, which I think is awesome. But all these little components are going to play really nicely into my new game, so I'm very excited. So let's get them put together so you can have a look at them when they're fully assembled. And with any of these resin models, I just use my regular clippers, trim them off as close as I can to the feet, and then also get all the little components off. Now there's a great guide on the Anvil Industry website that tells you how to prepare your models. I, I like to use a little blade just to trim them and get all rid of all these excess pieces, but they tell you clearly exactly what to do with this resin, and you don't often have to scrub it either, so that's a really good feature. You can literally glue it together and paint it without having to worry, so worth a read there. Again, the link's in the description below. So once I've scraped off, all the excess parts of the feet. I looked for any seams and mold lines, but to be fair, I couldn't find any on this one. And then I take a little file and I just run it along the base of the feet. And this helps for that glue just to get a really nice solid bond on the base. Very gently, just rub that along flush with the bottom of the feet. You're going to need some super glue next. I like Gorilla Super Glue, but my favourite at the moment is this Loctite Super Glue. So I'm going to use that here. I'll just add a little dot on each foot and then that's going to stick really nicely. That file really does make a difference when you're doing anything with super glue. So well worth taking that extra few seconds to do it and then just hold it in place. And within a few seconds, it's going to be bonded and ready to go. Once that's set, I then glue on the arms, the any weapons and then the head. And then that's all good to go. And there he is. That's the sergeant complete. I continue that process with all the other models. So I do all the clipping first, then all the trimming. And what I like to do is just turn the base upside down. So you've got a little bowl and then I put all the components for each model and each pose in those bowls. And that's a really nice way just to keep everything tidy in one place and stop it rolling around on your desk. Once it's all trimmed up like this, I'll glue it together and now we can have a look at some photos of everything built. And I'll put some little scenarios as well with some terrain for you to have a look at. And here we go, all the models are put together now. We've got the Biohazard Suit Sergeant and the Biohazard Containment Team. So all together, there's seven models here. And I think this is going to be great for not just Astro Militarum, but I think loads of other games as well. And now we've got the five-man team of hazmat operatives. So really nice, these. These are the ones I think are going to be perfect for my Population Z zombie game. Let's have a close up look at the models now. So this would be the sergeant there with the pistol looking at his device to see if there's anything to be worried about. We've got this guy with some kind of sensor, again, reading the device and then a shotgun carrying something. And notice the cracked helmet as well. That's a really nice detail that I didn't notice when I was looking through the components earlier. And that's going to leave the shotgun. So here's the guy posed with the shotgun. And then the flamethrower as well. So if they find it in, they're going to have to burn it up. Now back to the biohazard containment team. I love these magazines that they've got in the shotguns. I think they're awesome. You're going to get loads of cartridges in there, that's for sure. And there's two poses that I've built with those shotguns. And then I've built three of them. One of the kneeling down ones with the assault rifle. The magazine, again, brilliant. I like the detail on that. And also the sights as well. They're like holographic sights, which are brilliant. And the different helmets. So these are definitely more tactical, more militaristic. Here's a nice pose as he's walking along, checking out the surroundings. Then there's the minigun. Again, it's optional, but who doesn't want a minigun? What a great looking miniature this one is. And then finally, we've got the biohazard suit sergeant with the rifle on his chest he's got a pistol i love how he's holding that torch we'll zoom in a little bit here to have a better look so yeah really iconic pose and i think this one just looks fantastic 
I bet you can think of loads of ways you can use these in your skirmish game, so let me know in the comments section below what game you think these models will be best for and what you'll be proxying them for maybe in Warhammer or some other kind of game like a zombie game or something like that. So let me know down below. But I've got a great idea with these guys, with the um, hazmat operatives as if they're checking civilians as they're moving through different zones after a zombie apocalypse and then you've got the more militaristic guys behind the gate guarding it in case anyone wants to rush through and so yeah you'd certainly get taken out with that minigun but these two out at the front here I think this is going to be really great when they're all painted up it's going to look awesome and I think some scenarios can definitely be had with these models. A huge thank you to Anvil Industry for sending out these models and sponsoring the channel this month. It's really awesome of them and I can't wait to get these painted. They're going to fit in perfectly with two projects, my Astra Militarum build that's still ongoing and also my Population Z new game. So these two sets are going to be spot on for that. Can't wait to get them ready and feature them on the channel or painted up. If you're looking for some great proxies for Warhammer, maybe Astra Militarum or even zombie games like me, then I'll put some links in the description down below to some other videos I've done for Anvil Industry where I've got all different bits, heads, weapons, bodies that I've used for Astra Militarum. And I'll also put the link to those videos at the end of this video too. So there's lots to watch on the channel for Anvil Industry now and I can't recommend them highly enough. It would be awesome if you go and check out the Anvil Industry website, the link's down in the description below. Have a look at their full range, they've got a regiment range which has got so many models and great bits that really bring your projects to life and there's loads of other themes there too. So lots to look at and not only will you be supporting Anvil Industry, you're also supporting the channel too and again thank you to them for sponsoring. Thank you to you for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you a look at something a little bit different that you might like to add to your collection. If you enjoyed the video please hit that like button subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell too to join me next time on tabletop skirmish games i'd like to say a huge thank you to my patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible and if you're interested in joining the community it'd be awesome to see you there and i'll put a link for that in the description down below